didn't know that I would end up being an artist. And then all of a sudden I came up with this idea. I wanted to know what it would look like to put black paint down on shadows. And then I realized that if I put paint on top of things in the real world, I can make them look like a two-dimensional painting. And I had made my friend look like a two-dimensional painting. There are a couple techniques that I use to flatten the image. A lot of it has to do with my paintbrush in the model, but some of it also has to do with the photography. I like to stand as far back as I can and zoom in and to really compress the plane and make it feel like everything can come together in this one beautiful painting. I pick the model, I pick the elements in the scene, if there's you know, furniture, a chair, what the costuming will be, how do I create the mood through this whole setting. I'll have my model Joe there. The clothes are pre-painted and I'm just going to paint parts of her legs that are exposed, her hands and her face, and then we'll be ready to make some video magic. The only way to share this experience beyond that one day is through photo and video. I can't have my person as a permanent exhibit in a gallery or museum, and that's where the fine art photography comes into play. The same is true with the video art as well. Working in video has opened up a whole new medium for me. Now I think about not only how do I frame something that just looks like a nice painting on canvas that's static, but what is the personality of this painted person and how do I bring that out through my brush strokes and then through that person's movements, how do we make painting come to life in this type of way. Capturing my artwork in 4K makes all the difference. You really feel brought into this world and are able to really feel the detail of my brush strokes. When a lot of people hear that these are not real paintings on canvas, these are people covered in paint, they want to get in very close. They want to find the details that might give away that it's human. They look into the eyes, they look at even just the eyelashes. And being able to capture the video in 4K quality really adds that element that gives people what they desire to be immersed into this painting. And it's been really phenomenal because I'm able to capture the art in a completely different way. And if you're trying to create this convincing illusion that this is a painting on the wall and it is coming to life, the illusion's totally broken if you see graininess. In a normal canvas painting with these rich colors, you won't have those little dots. It just is a clash of mediums. And so I'm able to more truly match my vision with the Sony cameras than I have with any other cameras I've ever worked with. I shoot with the Sony a7S II for video, and then for photo, the a7R II. Other people really started noticing the difference in the capture. They've also noticed that I've been a lot more prolific with my video art. I had felt a lot more hesitant before to create video because it didn't feel like it was as high quality in capturing my brush strokes. And now it feels like the video is on par with the photos and is a powerful tool for expressing the artwork. There was no guidebook or manual for how to do this. I had to come up with all these techniques myself. And I love that every time I paint, I learn something new about how spatial depth perception works, how to capture light and shadow. And it's all just an exploration every time. I try not to look at too many pictures as I'm painting. I want to go very intuitively and gesturally and not stop to second guess myself. And then when I'm about 98% of the way done, I'll snap a photo just to see what it's looking like. And then that moment when I see that first picture, it's just like magic. If you see one of my video pieces on a wall, it looks like a painting hung on the wall. And it's only in the movement that you realize that, oh wow, this is actually a video and not a painting on canvas. And I love taking something that you would expect to belong to one medium of a painting on canvas and having it be something else altogether different. Because I can see it in front of me in my eyes, but it seems to come to life through the camera. 
and allowing myself that treat of that moment of like, ah, oh. it's really fun. <laughs>